I'm Stephanie Chang. I'm one of the thoracic surgeons here. I'm an associate professor of cardiothoracic surgery and the surgical director of lung transplant at NYU Langone Health. We at NYU Langone, we did the world's first robotic, fully robotic double lung transplant. Um, so what that means is for both lungs, we made very small incisions. Um, we used the robot to take the lung out, um, prepare the heart and um, the airway for us to sew in the new lung and then put the new lung in and sewed it all in um, on both sides, fully using the robot. So um, it's the first time in the world that we've really, anyone's ever done this. We've made lots of advances with robotic technology for lung cancer surgery, lots of other um, thoracic surgery and even heart surgery. And so um, this is really the first major step towards moving it towards lung transplantation. And the benefits are really um, significantly smaller incisions, so better healing for the patient and less postoperative pain. So when you think about robotic transplant in general versus, versus a normal transplant, it's just Again, significantly less invasive. So the old incision was a very large incision across your chest or two very large incisions that caused a lot of pain and trauma. Um, and then even the single robotic lung transplants weren't quite, it was a very huge mile step, um, milestone, sorry, for us. But um, the reason why double lung transplant is different is that's what a majority of patients get. And so we needed to improve the single technique where it was short enough and efficient enough for us to be able to do two in a short setting without any damage to the new organs. And so now instead of being something that's only applicable for a small subset of patients, now we can actually do this for a, a larger percent of people. So I think one of the re really great things about NYU is just that we have become leaders in all these different experts, areas of expertise. So um, Dr. Lume and Dr. Grossi are kind of world experts at robotic mitral valve surgery. And so the technique that they use to suture um, is kind of, has been learned all around the world, but that's really what we needed to learn. Like how do we suture in the blood vessels? And then in terms of taking the lung out and sewing the airway together, that's something that we're very good at already at NYU. So we, you know, have, arguably the world's best robotic thoracic program. Um, but if nothing else, Dr. Serfolio and Dr. Zervos, um, you know, have helped teach most robotic thoracic people in the world. And so um, we do complex surgeries all the time. So for me, taking out that lung and sewing the airway back together, that's something we already do. And so taking all of that and the fact that we do 70 to 80 lung transplants a year. We do a lot of complex transplants here. Just we had all the expertise we needed to just meld them together and, and start doing this procedure. So at NYU Langone, I think um, the environment and um, the Transplant Institute and all of that have just been very supportive of just building areas of excellence throughout the institution. And so between the Transplant Institute and the leadership of Dr. Montgomery, you know, all the programs have increased their volume, increased their quality and outcomes. I think, um, again, NYU Langone has been very supportive about building great programs. And so that's how we got all of these leaders in robotic thoracic and robotic cardiac. And so, you know, because of this environment and how much they foster, you know, development and good outcomes, it just it was just the perfect environment to do this. So for a, a normal transplant, you do either get a very big incision on both sides of your chest called uh, thoracotomies, or you get just a very big one across your chest where we break your breastbone and it's called a clamshell. And in either case, you have to put in these big retractors that spread your ribs apart, um, they push on your nerves, and it's just a very big open incision. Um, and so, pain tends to be a, a decent problem for patients afterwards. Um, in terms of the robotic transplant, instead of something that is probably eight inches in terms of an incision, we can get it down to a two inch incision. And so, um, and then we do, we put the small ports in for the robot. So there's significantly less trauma on the chest wall. Um, and then also just because it is robotic with that magnification, can actually see very, very well. And so you don't have to manipulate the heart as much when you're doing the surgery. So I think overall, it just allows for um, less trauma to the patient. NYU Langone Health, we're always trying to 
um, improve the quality of outcomes for patients. And so in terms of robotic lung transplant, it seemed like a natural evolution given our expertise and all the technology we have. And so it's been a privilege to be part of it.